Good day everyone. Welcome to another video learning with Bahagharing Lexi. Good day everyone. Welcome to another video learning with Bahagharing Lexi. And this day's video, we are going to talk about a random variable. And to be exact, we are going to deal with discrete or continuous random variable. But before we go on with our main topic, let us first recall what we learned from the concept about random variable. Now, Random variable as defined is any numerical quantity that is assigned to the outcome of an experiment. And when we are going to write a representation for the random variable, we use capital letter to represent a random variable. And random variable do have classification. And one of the classifications of random variable is what we call discrete random variable. Okay. Now, what is discrete random variable? Discrete random variable assume only a countable number of values. Meaning to say, in a certain event, now the outcome as representation for the variable of the given random variable to be classified as discrete, therefore, the outcome should be countable. To understand further about what discrete random variable is, then let's, uh, let us go with our illustrative example. Number one example is the number of learners enrolled in modular distance learning. Now, if we are dealing with the number of learners as an example of discrete random variable, and if variable x will represent the number of learners, then x can be 0, can be 1, can be 2, can be 3, and so on. Therefore, in this case, we can count the number of learners who are enrolled or who are currently enrolled in the modular distance learning. That is why this is an example of discrete random variable because the outcome is countable. Okay? Or the outcomes are countable. Another example, we have the number of positive COVID cases in the Philippines for 2020. Still, if variable X will represent the number of positive COVID cases in the Philippines as our representation for random variable, then X can be 0, 1, 2, three, and so on. Still, we can count the number of positive cases as a representation for discrete random variable. Okay? Then, third example, the number of applicants who have applied for a vacant position at a company. Now, still, the number of applicants can be counted. Therefore, this is an example of discrete random variable. And last one, the number of typographical errors in a rough draft of a book. And this is also an example of discrete random variable because we can count the typographical or typographical errors in the rough draft of a book. Okay? And as always, discrete assume only a countable number of values. On the other hand, we also have what we call continuous random variable. And when we talk about continuous variable, it can only take 
countless number of values, which is opposite from discrete random variable. For discrete, we are talking about countable numbers. But for continuous, we are dealing with countless number of values in an interval. Meaning to say, um, if variable x will represent the given continuous random variable, therefore x now here will be greater than zero, which implies that there is what we called uh, inclusion of the decimal point. Since the given a uh, value of the outcome for the given continuous random variable is in is, is is within the given interval. Okay, and for better understanding about what continuous random variable is, now let's proceed with our example. The length of time it takes to travel from city of Bacoor to Manila City. Okay, therefore, the length of time as a representation for the given count uh, continuous a uh, random variable is a measure of what? A measure of time wherein the value is within the given interval. Okay, we can measure. That's the length of time. That's why this is continuous, okay? We cannot count the length of time, but we can only measure. Okay, another example. We have the height of Dr. Jose Rizal's statue in Luneta, Manila City. Now, when we talk about the height, height of the statue of Dr. Jose Rizal, therefore, we are going to measure it. Therefore, this is an example of continuous random variable. Okay? Another example, the weight of a truck in a truck weighing station. Now, this is also an example of continuous random variable. And the last one is the amount of water in a 12-ounce bottle. Now, it's also an example of continuous random variable. Always remember that in this case, for a continuous random variable, we are dealing with a countless, countless uh, value of the outcome as a representation for the given random variable in an interval. And in for a simple, simple understanding about continuous random variable, uh, this is a type of a random variable where the outcome can be measured but cannot be counted. Okay? And always remember that there are two classifications of random variable. We do have discrete random variable, which represent the number of distinct values that can be counted of an event. Okay, And if x is the variable that we are going to represent to the given random variable, then x is equal to 0, 1, 2, 2, positive infinity. Okay, therefore, there is a possibility that the value or the outcome will be large or huge enough. Okay, and always you can count the number of uh, outcomes. On the other hand, a continuous variable or continuous random variable is a variable that takes on any value within the limits of the variable. That if x is the variable as a representation for the given random variable which, which was taken into a specific event of a certain uh, experiment, then x is greater than zero up to the maximum value of the given uh, situation, okay? And as I said, for continuous variable, the outcome can be measured. For discrete, it can be counted. And I hope 
you able to learn the concept that you are in need to understand the competency of the given random variable. And for more learning and practice, here is the practice exercise that you can answer. And then you may ask your teacher to uh, check if your answer is correct. Okay? Now we do have if x is the number of mobile phones sold in a week and be a company is that an example of a random variable which is discrete or continuous okay next the second one the weight in pounds of a newly born babies in a hospital nursery is it discrete or continuous if x is equal to the number of cars in a parking lot every noon is it an example of discrete or continuous random variable the length of time spent in playing video games and is it discrete or continuous and last one the number of learners who are enrolled in online distance learning okay and I hope you're able to learn the competency about discrete random variable and continuous random variable. And see you in the next video learning about random variable. This is Bahagharing Lexi saying God bless and let's continue to take an action to be engaged in learning. God bless.